Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, this is another uh, or the extension of my uh, last or previous video of the conditional access block access by location uh, that videos extension. So basically there is there was one comment from my uh, a subscriber I hope. So basically I'm going to discuss in this video about uh, one of the question and uh, this question was very good. So I wanted to create a video uh, for this. So how you can uh, protect your uh, organization completely uh, through the conditional access policy if you want to uh, go on that level. So how you can do that. So the question was asked by one of my subscribers, you can see on the screen. In that video, I explained that uh, any you can block the access from out of India and only allow uh, access from the India. But any bad actor, you know, you can just do the VPN in the India and access the, the website, oh, sorry, access the account, right? It's very easy, it's, it's uh, anyone can do that. So, so how you can tackle in that that scenario? So, so in that, so that was my first video, um, which is which was basically for the the beginner level. So, if you go, if you want to go uh, or try to, or you want to protect uh, all your assets, all your, uh, or you want to implement the zero trust. Um, the framework kind of thing and you don't want to allow any access uh, from out of uh, your network then and what about the if the user is traveling abroad uh, how they are going to access so in this video I'm going to tell you the the ultimate solution that you can use with the your conditional access policy and uh, with that you can secure your uh, authentication and you can control uh, you have you will have a uh, proper control on on the access so how you are going to do that so so basically uh, let me take you to the my office 365 portal I'm in the intra ID and go to the conditional access policy so basically see uh, when you have a when you are in a initial setup then you have a I know Liberty or IT team has a more Liberty or they can uh, put the all the policies at the beginning and then the all the user can adopt that security. But once once you have a full full fledged environment already, you know, working and it's kind of a mid business or the enterprise level company, it's very it's become a very difficult for the IT team to to uh, introduce a new policy and ask all the users to adopt that so it's it's become a very headache for the it it's it's uh, that's that's the fact but you can you can give the options to the business that okay see we will start with the blocking all other countries and let's uh, try with the one country that is where the business is operating so let's allow that country and block at least the rest of the world uh, at least you can pitch that and you can start from there then how you can going to progress and how you're going to do that so ultimate solution here is you want to only allow the user authentication from the Intune enrolled machine and you need to do that how you are going to do that is basically you are going to use the conditional access policy with the uh, compliance devices. So how you're going to do that, I will tell you. And also I'll tell you how you can do that through the, there, they see there is a prerequisites. Basically is you want to go first uh, endpoint. Okay. And here is also the problem. Okay. You cannot, uh, you can do, okay. You can do, uh, you can block all the access. Uh, and only allow the access from the compliance devices, compliant devices. But the problem is how you are, uh, like the, the main problem is all the users need to be enrolled, all their Mac, iOS, Windows system, uh, Mac devices, uh, Android devices also. So the, all these four platform devices need to be enrolled. So then only you can have a complete zero trust model. Otherwise, but here is also, you can start with the Windows devices and the Windows devices operating system, Windows 10, Windows 11, uh, those operating system, at least you can start. So what you're going to do is, I'll tell you the little a trick. It's very, very easy, very 
very uh, effective and simply okay so simply you will have one device here i have one device uh, registered uh, enrolled in my intune tenant and uh, i have a compliance policy here compliance policy you can see what i have added here view uh, settings sorry and the properties and firewall antivirus and real time protection so okay so this is the the minimum requirement i have uh, set as a compliance policy in the compliance policy but even this is even i say it's very hard you need to put this policies in the relax mode like not that restricted so how you going to do that is go to the edit and uh, and uh, it's not required device properties so minimum operating system version just go with the minimum operating system version whatever operating system windows 10 operating system version uh, put that version here and go with that only allow these devices uh, that are enrolled and those matching this minimum version uh, those devices only can log in very relaxed policy nothing to worry uh, otherwise if you want to go a strict and then you can go with the BitLocker, Secure Boot, uh, Code Integrity. I don't prefer you don't go with that. And the antivirus and all real-time protection that up-to-date antivirus should be there. So you can go, uh, you can uh, gradually go on that and make the device compliant. So remember, any device is compliant. The status is compliant, showing as a compliant. Those devices and those users only any user only able to log in from this device if the device is compliant if it is not compliant then user may not able to log in so this is like a zero trust for the windows devices i'm we are just talking here only windows devices same thing goes for the android ios and mac devices your device should be compliant your all the users uh, devices need to be enrolled properly and those devices should be in a compliant state then only users are able to log in so this is the one piece of that okay so you need to make sure your device is compliant then go to the conditional access policy create one conditional access policy like this i have created baseline allow from trusted location sorry trusted platform so here i have created this policy already so basically you want to test then you can just go with the selected user for the few user just see how it is working and once you test it then go with the all users and then exclude all the global administrator uh, initial level so you don't want like unnecessarily you don't block yourself because this policy is again uh, complicated very uh, danger category <laughs> critical category under the critical category so to this global administrator include all users but initially again i'm telling you um, go with the selected group of users okay test with them and then go then all cloud apps network nothing you need to mention in the condition you have to you need to mention that is a device platform so right now we are only targeting the windows devices not any if any user is a login from the android ios or mac or linux they will allow nothing problem but when user try to log in from the windows machine any windows machine and that machine is not enrolled he is not able to allow you know he is not able to log in to the office 365 portal or any office 365 services now to log in that what he needs to do or the, his machines need to be properly enrolled plus that machine need to be the compliant properly com compliant that green color checkbox should be there like this compliant then only user able to log in okay in this scenario only windows and that machine need to be enrolled plus compliant that machine only allow user to log in otherwise you cannot log in from any windows 10 windows 11 machine because that machine is not part of your organization but as, as i said go gradually at least 
this is the four sites, you know, attack, at least cover one site, Windows first, then go with the Android, go with the iOS, and then go with the Mac OS, you know, whatnot. So that way, so done. This only one piece you need to uh, create, do, <laughs> whatever. Uh, sorry, uh, the one piece you need to make sure this is a Windows and exclude nothing, no need to uh, exclude anything, it's just in the Windows. And then grant access, grant access and the required device to be marked as compliant. This need to be checked, select, that's all. Nothing, turn on this policy, save. Remember this user, uh, try with the pilot group, uh, few to three users, IT team users, then mention the condition that device should be the only Windows and grant as a compliant. And then save, once you save, ask that user to log in from your compliant devices, he will able to log in and try and ask him log in from any unknown devices, which is not part of your Intune organization. And try to ask him to log in from that uh, devices and you will see the different uh, message on the screen. So, so, so in this scenario, it's not a location based, it's the device based. If the device is part of your organization, then also, then only that user is allowed, okay? Now, this is again one piece of puzzle, okay? Then also whole mystery is not solved. There is another problem uh, that you, you will see, you will arise. Uh, if you know that, if you're using this thing, then there is another loophole uh, that hacker, if he knows this whole Intune Windows thing enrollment process, then then he can uh, get over this, he can bypass this conditional access policy also. Uh, then how you can do trigger. So this is uh, another puzzle that if you are really interested in this, uh, then uh, let me know. I hope I have, I have explained this in a better way uh, in this. Start with, start with the Windows, then go with the Mac devices, Android devices. I try to cover the one platform first and then go, go to the another platform. Otherwise, if you put everything uh, or you uh, block all the platforms on a single day, next day it will be the chaos and there is no, you have to roll back everything that you hard work you put to create or get this done, you know. So it's, it's unnecessarily. So, so start with the one platform block then once everything is settled then start with another platform because see you want to enroll all android devices all ios devices all the mac devices to get this and till the time that the first policy that uh, we created a block from unknown location and only allow from one specific country at least that policy will give you uh, some level of protection uh, but not all okay so uh, just um, do it okay enjoy this <laughs> this is very uh, really fun you know with the conditional access all lot of lot of use cases comes and you need to deal with and you just modify as per your requirement so see just play with it and uh, let me know if you have any questions and uh, uh, yeah thanks thanks for watching and uh, have a great day ahead thank you bye bye